After the loss of his dear dog, Malcolm, Luke embarked on a crusade to raise awareness about canine cancer, and that landed him right here at Princeton University. Six years ago on this very day, Luke Robinson's dog Malcolm passed away, a very sad anniversary for his owner. But today marks a turning point. By handing over this $50,000 check to Princeton University researchers, proceeds from dog walks he's organized, this day has become a happy anniversary for Luke. This is uh, the first step in fulfilling our legacy. Today is an extremely important day. Be here at Princeton to make our first contribution to scientific research that could potentially benefit both pets and people. It's just a tremendous day. I can't, I'm almost speechless. I'm getting choked up because uh, just the wellspring of emotions. It's a very emotional day for me. When Luke lost his dog Malcolm to bone cancer, he sold his truck and started a crusade to eradicate cancer. He took his two other dogs, Murphy and Hudson, and spent 826 days walking 2,300 miles in over 16 states. We had this vision throughout the walk that if two dogs can walk 2,000 miles for cancer, we can get two million dogs, and so we started the Two Million Dog Foundation. Our specific aim is to try to understand the common link between cancer and pets and people. That first dog walk back in 2008 has spawned many others. We're having walks, these puppy up walks all across the country. So the first year we did walks in 12 states. This past year we did walks in 27 states. So we hope to have 35 or 40 this up and coming years. Princeton University researchers who are collaborating with their counterparts at the University of Pennsylvania are honored to receive this $50,000 gift. The $50,000 will be used strictly for the molecular analysis. So this collaboration has a clinical part and a basic science part. So I do the clinical part and Dr. Trojanska do the basic science molecular analysis part. And what we are doing is that we are asking some very specific questions about how breast cancer develops and how breast cancer progress. And we are using dogs with mammary gland tumors to try to answer some of these tumors, some of these questions. And the cool part of the clinical part is that we are using dogs that we rescue from shelters. The foundation's gift will propel researchers looking at the similarities between how humans get breast cancer and how dogs develop tumors into hopefully making groundbreaking discoveries that can help both humans and, of course, our best friends. Reporting in Princeton, Sibyl Morenci, WZBN News.